Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Thanks for joining. Um, today on Fluke Friday we are going to be talking about the Fluke 1587 FC insulation tester and what comes with it and some of the features that you might want to use and hopefully it'll be beneficial for you guys. So as you can see here it does come with a hard case. You open it up. We've got our test leads and the meter's missing, so let me go grab that. Okay, here it is. Grab the 1587FC. It does come with the uh, test leads, like we mentioned before, the smart lead where you push the button to start the test, um, alligator clips for clipping on, I recommend those, and then some test leads and a uh, K-type thermocouple. So let me put this aside. Now, let's get this going. Now. So if we look at this, let me get this a little closer if I can. So if we look at this, kind of see, this is a essentially a multimeter, the 87.5, with a insulation tester or a mega or, um, yeah, an insulation tester built into it where you can meg out a system. So a couple things I'll highlight is the the white are the main functions of the multimeter, whereas the and the blue are the function key functions. So if you go to you know millivolts, you hit this, then you switch to uh, temperature. So if we go through the dial, we got AC voltage, DC voltage. If you look here, this one's hard to see. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, this is a low pass filter. So you got the low pass filter or VFDs and whatnot. Then you've got millivolts, DC, voltage DC, and temperature. Looks like a little thermostat, right? And then resistance, capacitance, if you use the function key again. Continuity, diode check, milliamps. So this is when you would switch your test leads from here you take your red lead out and put it over here for milliamps and you can see that that's fused so we can do up to 440 milliamps before the fuse trips and opens for us for our safety and then we can do both ac and dc milliamps with the in those jacks depending on what function key we use and over here you see we've got like this orange um, writing or printing you can also see there's an orange up here that says lock, a test voltage that says orange, the button is orange, and then right here it says insulation. So this is the time you would actually have to move both test leads and you would put them over to this side. So you'd put both test leads over here. In this case, I'll do that. yeah, that's fine. And we'll alligator clip these together just so we have no resistance. And then we can hit if we want to do a test voltage, we can hit test and hold it down and it will source the voltage and give us the um, resistance. We have no resistance so it doesn't go above one volt because once it gets, um, it, it just kind of stops. If I take this off and it doesn't have resistance, it doesn't have continuity, and I hit that, you can see the test voltage goes up to that thousand volt. Now what if we didn't want to test it at a thousand volt? Well we can change the test voltage by clicking this button from 50, 100, 250, 500, or 1,000. And that's as high as you can go with the 1587 FC. If you need 5,000 or 10,000, Fluke does have options for that, but they're a different form factor tool. One of the features I like on this is if you hit the lock button and then you hit test, you can let it, it will test itself. It won't, um, it'll keep applying voltage and you don't have to stand there and hold the button down the whole time. So you can test it for a minute or two minutes if you want and see if that resistance goes down over time. So that's another thing that we can do. And then finally, this was added whenever they added the 1587 FC, the FC to it. Obviously you get the Bluetooth radio so you can take your readings to your smartphone. And if you do take your readings to your smartphone, you can actually enter the temperature um, of the ambient temperature or the temperature of the motor and it will 
allocate or it'll uh, make a calculation based on the temperature that you're giving because um, resistance and your your megging test is temperature dependent so that will do that and we've got the PI and the DAR test or polarization index or dielectric absorption rate if you click one of those and you hit start test this will then do this. Um, one of them, I believe, is a one-minute test, and one is a ten-minute test, and you're seeing if the resistance changes over time. So that's kind of a full walkthrough of the 1587FC. It's a great meter, uh, fluke. It's very popular. I, I think it's the most popular, uh, quote unquote, Megger, even though it's not a Megger, it's an insulation tester. Megger is a name brand, um, but it's the most popular. Uh, Insulation tester in the U.S., um, maybe in the in the world, I'm not sure, but we uh, Fluke does really well with this meter. So hopefully that's helpful. If uh, you have good stories about how an insulation tester saved you time, energy, saved a motor for you, or helped you prevent a motor or identify a motor that was going bad, leave it in the comments below so others can see and hear about your successes as well. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about me uh, videos you might be interested on Fluke stuff. Thanks. Have a great weekend.